and today we are doing a weekly reading for Taurus. Okay, just keep in mind that we all possess free will and you're not bound to tarot. So take what's your story and leave the rest. Cross watchers are welcome. Just keep in mind the rules may be reversed and all of Spirit's messages are timeless. All right, we're going to do a Celtic cross for you, Taurus. We're going to choose your energy here, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Mm, okay. Let's see. Hopes and fears. Wish fulfillment. So wishes of wish fulfillment or your hopes that your wish fulfillment will come to fruition. Your desire. Knight of Cups. You're looking for romance or you're waiting for an offer of romance. Your perspective is conflict or perhaps you're going to fight for what you believe in. Your person's perspective, the moon. Could be some secrets there or confusion of some sort. What's the foundation of the issue? Hmm. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. You have all these lessons that you've learned already. You're almost done with this cycle. Oh, um, right. Your intention. You just want to work on your craft. Your person's intention is to gain a different perspective. Let's see here. What are the lessons you've learned? King of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe you've learned how to be successful. And what is the outcome? Mm, love. Two of cups. Union with somebody. Now that could be a partner uh, in business. It could be um, in love. Could be a twin flame or a soulmate. And your challenge is sunshine, happiness, here comes the sun. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, let's do clarifying cards now. For the Wheel of Fortune for Taurus Spirit. Let me see any messages I need to bring to Taurus. Wheel of Fortune Spirit. Can I get three cards? Okay. And we have some. Grief or sadness about working with somebody. Oh, maybe you got an offer to work with you, but you're sad. Why are you sad? Maybe you're going through karma, Joris. Maybe there's some karma you're facing right now. You're a little sad about your work situation and you're thinking about some news of love maybe somebody is going to bring you an offer what's the star please the star is clarified with seven of cups which is lots of options Trying to balance your home life with your work life. And the star is, this is divinely guided. Hmm. Your desires is the Knight of Cups, romance, love. Three cards please, spirit. Ah. We have Three of Cups, which could be a celebration, but we have the Ten of Wands, which means it's a bit of a 
burden when it comes to love because maybe you were cheated on in the past. There's three parties in a relationship that maybe you weren't aware of or maybe you were. Yeah. Because when it comes about love, yeah, you have no problem with laying down that burden and making that choice. What's the Five of Wands for Taurus, please, Spirit? One more card. Oh, wow. Got a couple here. I'm not going to take all those cards. Well, I guess I better. Alright. And I think it was... Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. You're happy that you're gaining your success. Perhaps you have a job you're doing. The success is going to come in quickly. You are looking after yourself and you are um, loving yourself first. You are the Empress. And the Knight of Wands. Something passionate wants to come in for you. Or there's some passionate news. Somebody wants to come charging in. What's the Eight of Pentacles, please? Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Somebody is rushing in to help you with your craft. Can I get one more card for this one, Spirit? Thank you. Or you're walking away from them. You want to do this solo. I don't think you want any help. The hangman, please. Spirit, hangman. Yeah, you're looking good. Somebody wants to get with you. Somebody wants a union with you. Seven of Wands. You're standing up for what you believe in. Maybe this person is getting a different perspective. Just the King of Pentacles, please. Thank you. There's some heartbreak here. King of Pentacles is perhaps your finances. Fin you're financially gone from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's Three of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's been heartbreak by the King of Wands. You've walked away from this person. Because you're going after your Ten of Pentacles. What's the Two of Cups about, please? Two of Cups, please, Spirit. Two of Cups. Oh, we have a Divine Union here. Oh. This person wants love, long-term relationship with you. And that is the Emperor. And the Empress is a Divine Counterparts. But there's a tower here, so something is shaking up. Or shaking down. <laughs> Let's see, why is the tower here? Can I get one more card for the tower, emperor, and the seven of pentacles? One more card. Spirit, one more card. Thank you, yeah. They have lots of regrets. Perhaps you're not taking them back. Why is your perspective a lot of conflict? Why? What are you fighting about? It's the Five of Wands, Spirit. It's the Five of Wands. Five of Wands, Spirit. What's the Five of Wands about? Hanging on to s your money or your. S you're hanging on to something tight. Hanging on 
on to your pentacles. Uh -huh. Wheel of Fortune. Ah, yeah, it could be your destiny to be solo. To do it on your own. It seems to be the same. Everybody needs to be single, it seems like. <laughs> well, that's the messages coming up anyway. The chariot. Forward movement with the moon. Yeah. They're taking off. There's gossip, secrets. Perhaps they had the wrong impression of you with the hangman, or a different perspective of you. And you have lots of options, but you, your wish fulfillment is to have balance and have your wishes come to fruition. You're happy and successful working you may be injured at this point too, but you're putting a lot of time and effort into yourself. And somebody's got passionate news for you. You're just working, you're minding your own business and somebody wants to come in rushing in impulsively to work with you, but you send them away. I think you want to do this on your own. The hangman, different perspective. Perhaps this person has a different perspective of you in love. And they know you're going to stand your ground and, and not be bullied into being doing anything you don't want to do. The three of swords is heartbreak with the king of wands. You walk away from this person to get your success of the ten of pentacles. That's why you have are the king of pentacles here you're successful very successful and like generational wealth with the ten of pentacles okay with the king of pentacles okay you've done really well for yourself this person knew you for a long time you were with them for a long time or they want a long time commitment with you and the tower is here. It's all come crumbling down because of regret of how they treated you. Bottom of the deck is you're going to walk away. The challenge is, is your happiness, your sunshine card. And if it if somebody isn't making you happy, you're walking. You're not going to put up with any bullshit, okay? So, Taurus, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. <laughs> Please share, like, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future Chrissy Divine Design Tarot messages from spirit. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Love y'all. <laughs>